it is lightweight has very good texture it is non-greasy this makes it really suitable for those of us with the oily skin it hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel my name is nina and i create content around skincare lifestyle vlogging and general body wellness so if this sounds like something you're interested in kindly join the community we are growing join the community by hitting the subscribe button and of course turning on the notification bell so you do not miss out on the teas on this channel there's so much to learn and to my returning subscribers you guys Thank you guys so so much i do not take your support for granted never i do not take your support for granted i really do appreciate you your time your efforts your like your comments thank you guys so so much ah uh, first things first let me take tea i'm filming this content in the morning so yeah tea is part of my routine every morning once i get back from the gym i drink tea to get my system started so in my last video, I made a video on vitamin C and, you know, all the nitty gritty of um, vitamin C, all the things you need to know before you begin to use vitamin C. So I, if you missed out on that video, I'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can watch it. Okay. There's so much to learn from that video right so when i made a post about vitamin c on my facebook page um a friend said oh nena do a video on vitamin c recommendation for different skin type of course you guys already know that if you are um considering getting any products for your face especially that one of the things that you should consider before getting it is your skin type now we have the oily skin we have the um normal skin sometimes normal to oily other times oily then we have the combination skin which is people who have oil on their t-zone and then we have the dry skin dry stroke sensitive all right so yeah oily normal combination dry stroke sensitive yes so these are the kinds types of the skin types that we have and so i am going to be recommending um two vitamin c serums each for each um skin type so we are going to start first off with the oily skin me i am the king of the oily skin gang because my face god I produce so much oil from my face and that is why I do not joke with products that helps you know control sebum production I always ensure that I have it in my routine and so far so good we no longer have enough oil that can fry a cara on my face yeah so the first um, on the list of vitamin C serum for the oily um, skin type is the one from skin cuticas i am going to be adding the pictures on the screen while i'm editing so the one from skin cuticas the number another thing you need to consider if you have an oily skin when getting your serum you should always opt for water-based serum it is very important that you opt for water-based serum because oil-based serum will further you already have an oily skin so that is not what you need you need water-based serum and that is where the skin cuticle um vitamin c serum with 15 percent l ascorbic acid and 0 0.5 percent of ferulic acid in it the ferulic acid helps to you know stabilize the um l ascorbic acid and kind of make it very functional so if you have an oily skin the skin cytical vitamin c serum is your go-to serum the skin cytical um vitamin c serum also has salicylic acid in it this helps to control oil or sebum production on your face so this is just like a very good buy for those of us on the oily skin side and yes it's also super good for those of us with acne prone skin you know it's a different thing to have acne on your skin and then to have acne prone skin you have acne prone skin because you know that little things can trigger it and then you break out so you keep doing things that will make you not to break out but you have acne the acne is already there and then you're treating it those are the two differences between acne prone skin and having an actual acne on your skin yeah so the second um, vitamin C serum for oily skin spectrum is the one from La Roche-Posay 
La Roche Posay is actually a very good product. It is also a water based vitamin C um, serum. So, yes, it is something that is really, really, really good and highly recommended for people with oily skin. Um, the La Roche Posay has about 10% L ascorbic acid in it. It also has salicylic acid in it. And as well, it has other um, soothing and calming um, ingredients in them that makes it very, very, very suitable for even those with sensitive skin or those that are new to vitamin C. So if you're actually new to vitamin C, La Roche Posay is your go-to product. So the next vitamin C serum, this one is actually a budget serum. So if you're on a budget, this is for you. The next one is the Ghanaian vitamin C serum. Yeah, this is lightweight, has very good texture. It is non-greasy. This makes it really suitable for those of us with the oily skin. It's not greasy and it contains salicylic acid and niacinamide. This helps it to be very potent. You already know what salicylic does and the niacinamide as well. So that is a perfect combination in a bottle. And for that price, it is actually very good. I highly, highly, highly recommend. All right. And then the next one. I know I said I was going to do two two, but I have special love for people with oily skin and I want everybody to get something. So the last one for the oily skin spectrum is the Jumiso Vitamin C Serum. The Jumiso Vitamin C Serum has um, a lightweight watery texture that allows it to absorb you know, quickly into the skin without leaving any tacky feeling and or maybe leaving a greasy after few when you're done applying and this makes it a perfect choice for you if you have an oily skin and it is also um, within budget all right so now on to the next we're going to be doing um the combination skin so the first um, vitamin c serum that i'm going to be recommending for the co uh, combination skin prepo is the um godal Vita uh, vitamin c dark spot care that contains niacinamide and abutin. Now, when you hear abutin, what comes to mind? It means that this is going to work perfectly for your hyperpigmentation. Apart from the major work of vitamin C, which is protecting your skin from environmental stressor, boosting collagen and the likes, this particular one is going to help tackle your hyperpigmentation because it has alpha abutin, which is one of the gold standard products for tackling um, hyperpigmentation after... Um, after hydroquinone now this um vitamin c has like a gel like consistency and it is very easy and fast to absorb onto your skin so it is a perfect choice for people with combination skin like i said i'll also attach the picture so it is easy for you to find this product in the market all right and then the second one that i am going to be recommending for people with um combination skin this is actually a budget vitamin c is the desa vitamin c the cell natural vitamin c contains hyaluronic acid which helps to hydrate your skin and it also contains abutin that also fades hyperpigmentation and leaves the skin glowing it also contains green extracts this helps to suit your skin so this is a perfect choice and for the price points and all the ingredients therein it's very good all right so you can get it if you have uh, a combination skin those of us with the oily skin as well can also use this product okay now let's move on to the next skin type which is the dry skin now it's actually um a bit tricky when you're trying to get products for um people with dry skin because there are too many things that should be considered when getting a product for people with um dry skin and one of the major thing that you should consider it is how hydrating those products are because their skin is already lacking in that aspect so you want to be sure that whatever products you're recommending for them has some really good ingredients in them that would hydrate moisturize 
and help retain moisture in their skin so the first product i'm going to be recommending the first vitamin c um, serum i'm going to be recommending for people with dry skin is, is the one from neogen that's the neogen vitamin c serum this is absolutely good i highly recommend it for people with dry skin this is very very good if you have a dry skin and this contains about 22 percent vitamin c extract it also contains hyaluronic acid that helps to hydrate your skin remember what i said if you're getting any product for someone with a dry skin you should consider the product the ingredients in them ensure that it has something that is hydrating and as well moisturizing so this one has hyaluronic acid as a whooping 22 percent vitamin and we say extract in it it also has collagen that helps to moisturize and keep your skin supple and glowing so yeah if you have a dry skin you should jump on this product you should also try the um, one from Godal, the one that I recommended earlier you can also try it if you have um, a dry skin the next um, vitamin C serum I'll be recommending for people with dry skin is the inky list um, vitamin c serum with um egf which stands for epidermal um growth factor yeah so this one has 15 percent um, vitamin c extract in it it also contains peptides that will help to you know soothe and hydrate your skin so if you're worried about irritation this product is a perfect choice it has a very smooth texture and it leaves a dewy feel and let's not also forget the fact that it regenerates your skin so if you have a procedure and you're looking for a product that would help your skin to you know resurface faster then this inkylis vitamin c serum is your go-to serum yeah now let's move on to the sensitive skin um serum now it's worthy to note that you can use any of these serums i just want to like specify it because some people would always want to like oh um is this for i want a, a serum for my particular um kind of skin type so yeah that is why i am grouping it this way because personally i can use any of these serums provided they are water-based I can use them so yes now let's move over to sensitive skin now the reason is as if um, they make specific products for people with sensitive skin is that any product that has fragrance tends to irritate the skin personally I can use products with fragrance and it won't do anything to me all right but if somebody with a sensitive skin tries it it might cause them serious irritation so it is actually um, why they are very picky with their kind of products. So when you're recommending a product to someone with a sensitive skin, having in mind that they are prone to irritation, you should always consider first, make sure that their product has zero, like zero fragrance in it. So like I mentioned for people with oily skin, if you have a sensitive skin, SkinCeuticals Vitamin C Serum is a perfect choice for you so yes i already said um, said what it does in the first um part of this video so yes skin cytical vitamin c serum is a go-to serum for you if you have a sensitive skin because it has no fragrance so it will not irritate your skin and next serum i'm going to be recommending for people with sensitive skin is the one from biosense the biosense vitamin c serum it contains 10% vitamin C extract and licorice extract. So this is a perfect choice for you if you have a sensitive skin and it is also like very affordable. So yes, you can consider that if you have a sensitive skin. And then the next serum that I am going to be recommending is the one from Fab. The Fab 10% vitamin C serum was specifically made for people with sensitive skin. It has zero fragrance. That is you do not experience any irritation at all it is very gentle and it will also brighten your skin so for people with sensitive skin the fab 10 percent brightening vitamin c serum is your go-to serum and for the price point it's not exactly that bad so yes you should consider getting it so i hope i've been able to touch like did i touch your skin type 
I sure did. But if you have any other question or if you have any other um, vitamin C you think you want me to look into and see if it is stable for your skin type, please kindly drop it in the comments section and thank you for watching this far i know i said i didn't want this video to be long but of course you can see i did not like waste time in between i just wanted to you know get this over and out so we can you know consider our body care you know since i started this channel i've always been doing face 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 so in my next video we are going to be doing body care body care how you can care for your body to keep it young glowy youthful radiant yes that's what we're going to be doing so thank you guys for watching this video thank you for coming this far please don't forget to like this video share it tell your friend about this channel don't forget to leave me a comment because when you do the algorithm pushes the video to other people that may need it so yes we want our community to grow so please like comment share subscribe and of course turn on the notification bell do stay safe guys and i would see you in my next one bye bye